Hello, my name is John. This is Rodney. We're with United Truck Driving School, and today we'll be showing you how to couple and uncouple a set of doubles safely. First thing that we want to do is position the converted dolly in front of the second trailer. And you always want to make sure that the heaviest loaded trailer is in the front for safe handling. He'll release the brakes on the converter gear. It has a release button. He's going to position it as close as possible to the trailer, lined up with a kingpin. He's going to lay a couple of gloves out on the ground, and he's going to back the first semi-trailer as close to the converter gear as possible. Now Rodney is going to hook the converter gear, the panel eye, to the panel hook. Then he's going to recheck his alignment. He's also going to check the brakes on the rear trailer to make sure that the brakes are set and that if any car goes in there that it's secured. He's going to back the tractor, first semi-trailer and converter gear and hook into the second trailer. Now Rodney's going to connect the safety chains to the rear of the first trailer. He's also going to connect the air lines to the glad hands of the first trailer and the second trailer. He's going to check the rubber seals to make sure no damage and that they're in good condition. He's going to connect the electrical cord to the first trailer and the second trailer. There's two sets of lines on this converter gear. He's going to check, make sure he doesn't have any daylight between the lower fifth wheel of the converter gear and the upper fifth wheel of the trailer. And he's going to check, make sure that the jaws are around the shank of the kingpin and the release arm is in. Then he'll go to the rear of the second trailer, make sure that the shutoff valves are closed and he will open up the shutoff valves on the first trailer and the converter gear. Then he'll get up in the truck, he'll push his trailer air supply in and charge the air system with air. Now you want to make sure that the landing gear is fully raised, that the handle is secured, it's fully raised so it won't catch on anything while you're driving down the road. And of course Rodney checked that we had airflow all the way through the combination that's necessary for all the brakes to work properly. Also, he would do a good pre-trip, make sure that all his lights are working properly, that his brakes, tires, and suspension are in good order, no damage, nothing loose. So he will recheck even the coupling. He'll take another quick look at the coupling, the air lines, and the chains, and things of that nature. Now we're going to cover uncoupling. When you're uncoupling, you want to make sure that you uncouple the trailers on good, firm ground so the trailers will not sink up. Also, you want to make sure that you're in a straight line with your combination. Then, you're going to lower the trailer landing gear. Next, Rodney is going to close the shutoff valves on the first trailer and the converted dolly. He's going to disconnect all his air and electrical lines and secure them. He's also going to pull the fifth wheel lever on the dolly to release the jaws on the kingpin. And then he's going to pull the converter gear free of the second trailer. Now Rodney's going to pull the converter gear to a safe location. He's going to roll the dolly down, the landing gear on the converter gear. Unhook the safety chains on the converter gear. And then he's going to disconnect the converter gear from the first trailer and he'll pull out slowly. All right, now what we're going to talk about is the two difference of uh, panel hooks and the safety chains. Uh, this panel hook actually slides down and releases a little bit differently, and it comes back down and latches properly. And 
Plus you only have a single chain versus a double safety chain. Now this is the second panel hook that you need to worry about and make sure you're latching it and unlatching it properly. And this is uh, two safety chains on this particular dolly where the first dolly only had a single chain. Now for the final safety tip, you never want to disconnect the dolly from the front trailer while the second trailer is still hooked up to it. 